Hello, it's Salimik. In today's video, we're gonna be fixing power steering leak and flushing the entire system on this 2011 Toyota Camry. The process I will be showing you here will be the same for most cars. We're gonna jack up the car and put it on a jack stand. It will make the job much easier when we steer the wheel lock to lock with the engine off. Before doing anything, I like to clean my working area so I can find out where was the leak and if it leaks again, it will be easy to find out. Alright, everything nice and clean now, so we're gonna need same size hose that's leaking now, another piece of hose, which I'll show you why we need for flushing, funnel, carb cleaner, scissors, pliers, 2 liter of ATF3, and a bottle like this so I can use it as a turkey baster to take the old fluid out of the reservoir. Let's use the bottle as a turkey baster and take out the fluid as much as possible. The more we take out, less mess will be when we remove the hoses. Alright, most of the fluid out, let's put a sharp towel under the hoses so we can remove the hoses. We're gonna be cleaning the reservoir and also replacing leaking hose. With using a flat screwdriver and push the tab and the reservoir slides up just like this. This is the return line we are leaking, we can remove it so we can replace it with the one we have. The smaller diameter hose is the return line of the reservoir and the bigger diameter hose is the suction line of the reservoir. Every time you want to flush power steering, make sure to clean the reservoir filter before putting new oil and doing flushing procedure. Take your time and use carb cleaner or a chalk cleaner to clean the filter and let it dry. Alright, while the hose is drying, we're gonna put the clamps on the new hose. The reason old hose were leaking, over time these hose gets brittle, so the clamp won't be able to squeeze the hose, so it leaks out from the ends. The new hose on, next we're gonna use the other hose I showed you before and insert it on the return port of the reservoir and raise it up so it won't spill oil while we are doing flushing procedure. Next, we're gonna put the reservoir back and insert the suction line and keep this hose raised up. Now we are ready for flushing procedure. Here is the return line free. The old fluid will come out from here. We're gonna need a bottle or any container to collect the old fluid. The reason I'm using Coca-Cola bottle because it's transparent and I will be able to see when the new fluid comes out. We're gonna fill the reservoir with new fluid and keep this hose raised up and steer the wheel lock to lock with the engine off. It will suction the new fluid from the reservoir and push the old fluid out to the return line, which is the one in the bottle right now. Okay, we're gonna fill the reservoir with the new fluid. If you don't know what type of fluid you need, check the cap or the manual to know what type of fluid to use. Alright, with the engine off, we're gonna steer the wheel lock to lock till we see the new fluid comes out from the return line. Of course, with keep filling the reservoir with the new fluid and don't let it suck air. And here's why I put the car on a jack stand. With the engine off, it will be hard to steer the wheel lock to lock. This will make the job much easier. So I kept filling the reservoir with the new fluid and steering the wheel lock to lock till I saw new fluid comes out. It took about bottle and a half, about one and a half liter. Just for experiment reason, you don't have to do this step. I'm just gonna take the bottle out and put this clear cup so I can see how the clean fluid is, so I can compare it with the old one. Here's the return line fluid. If we compare it, it should be the same with the one in the bottle. They are slightly different due to air bubbles, but that's how complete flush should be. And this is the old fluid, what a big difference. Next, we're gonna put the return line back again. Make sure to put a rack under the hose and do it fast. Alright, now we're gonna steer the wheel lock to lock to release all the trapped air before starting the engine. You may need to add fluid after releasing all the air bubbles out. Now close the cap and we're gonna start the engine. We're gonna fill the reservoir one last time to the right level, which is the hot line when the engine at idling temperature. After steering the wheel lock to lock with the engine on, 
the fluid should be at the same level. Hope the video gave you some information how to replace leaking hose and flushing power steering fluid. If it was, like and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.